Do you think these negatives around Hillary Clinton are resonating with voters? Kat, Tim, what do you, what do you think? I mean, from, from, the, from the millennial generation. Absolutely. I, a lot of millennials who I know who supported Bernie, whether he, endor you know, he endorsed her or not, they're still not going to support Hillary because of the reasons that they liked him are the problems with her. Uh, they don't trust her. They don't believe. And also that she doesn't really seem to care about anything because she's gone back and forth on so many issues. Does she, what is she doing other than the ambition of wanting to be president and doing anything, even if it's illegal or, to, you know, putting our national security at risk for our own convenience? These are things that we're paying attention to can and I, we're sick of. Can yeah. I just ask a quick question? How do you feel when people who support her suggest to you that um, you're not supporting women because you don't back her? Right, so men. Don't you get a lot men, of that? Absolutely, men get to decide who to vote for, but women don't get to do that. They have to vote for Hillary because they're women, and somehow that's a feminist point of view. I don't understand that. That's more sexist than anything. Mm -hmm. I want to make my decision based on what policies that I want to see happen because I have to live in this country and you know do things like work. Well, the, like well, the Clinton else. Global Initiative takes money from countries that oppress women and right. actually violate their rights. So, and if anything, you're going against that's the grain. Yeah, that's yeah. A whole hey, Senator, final word from you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah final word. Uh, in New Hampshire yesterday, uh, there was the, the marriage between Bernie and, and Hillary, obviously. Tremendous amount of negativity out there with the Bernie supporters. It's going to take a long, long time for them to come around. If they come around at all, they're either going to stay home or support Trump. So, you think Trump will be able to get those people? I think he'll be able to get a portion, probably 30 percent, and that may be enough. Senator Scott Brown, always a pleasure. We'll see you in Cleveland. See you Monday. Okay, right you got up. it. Thanks so much. <laughs> Fox Business will be covering the Republican and Democratic national conventions live. Our coverage begins on July 18th, live from Cleveland. Don't miss it. We are geared up for the conventions next two weeks.